chance of forcing a map three thanks to Dust2 being in the pool. Yeah, I think it shows promise what we saw on the CT side of Mirage. If this is their comfort pick, then maybe we'll see it better than that. But it might have to wait because Rain planted two headshots on Long. It's got a crossfire with his teammates. They're both in the red, though. But they'll still continue to deliver problems. You can see Cressy really trying to make something of this, but there's a pot flash play and a double peek. But despite that, both kills going the way of Sproul. They've got some range on Long. If they can pick up some USPs, I thought it's a PT50, but apparently not. Double dink, sit down, boy. Yeah, this is turning around. Brokey moving through now as Sprout will take their time. There's one USP again. The headshots just continue, and uh, they have forced their way back into this pistol round, and then some. Sprout 1 0. Here we go. No apartments here. It's going to be the AK straight through mid. I would imagine the, the Mac 10 would go there, but anyway. Gold Zero gets plenty of sound cues, a free kill on Speedy through the doors. Maybe expecting to take out a, the AWP in that position. Early disadvantage for Sprouts, they look for something else. We can see Dennis dueling with that Mac-10 towards B. That's not going to be very successful for him. Down he goes. Finally a trade, and Cressy could really rack up the numbers here. One versus two, it's made doable for Slacks. He's got a minute 15. He, does, he doesn't have bomb plant pressure. They will hear the sound cues. He can fake, he can commit, it's up to him. And he'll commit no. while the bomb is planted, uh, while the smoke is up, rather. The shadow is spotted by Cold Zero, it never sees it coming. An expensive round for FaZe Clan, but they are on the board. Double R picked up now for Cold as well. Very expensive, very expensive, but that double AWP is nasty for FaZe. The fact that they can save that going into the next round is going to pose a bit of a problem for FaZe, uh, for Sprout, rather. Sprout are aware of it at happy time. They've played it three times in the last three months, and they've lost the last two times that they've played it. So it's uh, it's not exactly a very strong map for FaZe. A win here would mean a lot for them. Oh, the lineup! It could be two! It will be! Caressi! That is a lot of damage from him. The bomb's still in the hands of Speedy and Spawn. It went back to the grenades. And again, that will give warning. Carrigan, he's expected now to HE. Try and create some space for himself. Distraction. Great flip from Brokey. And it's 1v1 now. Carrigan, no stranger to the AWP. Great patience there for that final kill. And FaZe get the kills, right? If he dies, who cares? He's got the MP9 and he's already got two kills. I mean, Vest Assembler looking uh -oh. to make that bank. Serious. Well, it's a failed P. This break could have gone either way. They're both still alive. But in the meantime, Brokey's got some entertaining to do. He's got some guests on this A bomb site taking out the fine bone china for Sprout as they make their way over to the A bomb site. And indeed, Seems that Brokey will be consumed by Sprout on this occasion, but Farvin now 14 HP, still outside the lock. I'm gonna say like that. thousands of pounds. All right, let me check. Like, I'd have been, I'd have been really, I'd have felt bad for you. Then you know, I mean, what, like 400 pounds. Like, okay, I, st I feel bad for you, but it's not the hero AK on Speedy. So they've got a trade there from Rain. Ooh, trying to get that smoke out. I'm surprised. An attempt, an attempt, an attempt. But uh, this is still going to be the anti-eco sort of lockdown. Should be here with two players on to take a peek towards Long in a moment here. He is currently focused on Catwalk. They're going to get pretty close to him. He realizes it. Oh, this is so awkward. Down goes Brokey and Sprout might just win this round. It looks like they will. Well, that one's got out of control. That is so unfortunate for Brokey. It's on the short position. 28 seconds on the clock now. Twist saying hello to Desert Eagle. Rain's got to focus on Long, but he gets popped by Cressy in the meantime. But Brokey's ready for it. He doesn't know what's around the corner, so he may have to run back towards uh, Long. And same time, he's going to be targeted from the bomb site. But now Sprout are the ones who are in trouble because they don't have Long or Short as they plant the bomb. Dennis versus Four completely exposed, and down he goes. What a turnaround again. FaZe came into this with not much, but they'll leave with two AWPs, one AK, and one M4A4. Or two AKs, in fact. It's such a painful loss, especially because Sprout still had flash grenades. How are they not throwing a flash to cover car, to cover that op where ops sit 90%? Gets him anyway, misses his shot, did enough, and now they look to charge through the doors. There are problems on this B bomb site. Carrigan doing what he can. We've got Dennis by default. Down goes the bomb by the car. That might buy a few precious seconds for Colt. Another kill for him. The flicks from Cold. Three on the B bomb site, leaving Slacks alone. Crouch peeking CT spawn to no avail. The first smoke is already half worn down. They have to go right now. I want to see a jumping a shot with the AWP. Well, there'll be a standing one from Brokey. Man advantage disappears for FaZe. Spitty makes a play from uh, mid. Again, he's been lurking the entire time. Brokey looking for him, and that is a very strong kill from Brokey.
he's waiting for the jump peak now. Three versus two. Short still in control of FaZe Clan. Sprout being very quiet. There's the peak he was looking for. That leaves Slacks alone. Double peak and it's Brokey again with four kills in a round. Rain. He has a HE in his hand. At what point does he throw it? Oh boy. False sense of security. Look at all this information that they're getting though. Phase this relentless push for aggression, uh, for information. Cold Zero is going to find Dennis. Clear upper halls. They know this is a long now. Massive spray through the smoke. Yeah, this is looking rough for Sprout. The dying rounds of the first half look very favorable for FaZe Clan. A fake plant from Speedy in case of a jump. And now how does he plant the bomb? He's one versus five. None versus five now. FaZe make it in their way towards B. This has got to be a rotation now from FaZe Clan. Carrigan falling back. The lovely taps from Carrigan. Cold is here as well. But down they go. They'll give themselves a man advantage as the remainder of FaZe look to retake the bomb site. They've got flashes and smokes. No incendiary to go... Flashbang, a quick look, doesn't see anything just yet. Fiverr concedes his position, creating some space for rain, but it's down to Twist now. One versus one, Cressy on the site. Not sure if Twist has seen him or not, but he's looking around double stack. Cressy repositioning, that bomb quite takes, he's got a kit. Smoke on the bomb, he has no idea where Cressy is as we can see. Cressy now in the smoke, and I think oh. it's too late to actually win the round. It will go the way of Sprout, a late one in the first half. Five rounds for Sprout, ten. When it was their turn in a pistol on long. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. That's a great start from Twist, but a bad finish. Favor now looking for the taps. Five versus three. You can see him really trying to focus on those headshots. FaZe continue to engage. Moving forward is Cold Zero. Got stereo frags for FaZe now. But a man advantage continues for Sprout. Carrigan picks up a P250, but a bomb is at the point of no return. He's got to press on and find that. And he may be subject to a double or even triple peak if he does so. You can see a quick look in case of a flank, but here we see the wide swing from Sprout now. But Carrigan's on the other side too when they last saw him. Some taps on Dennis. cressy has got to be careful. 12 HP. This is doable for Carrigan. He sees them closing the distance. Really going to try and pick his fights carefully now, Carrigan. Nine bullets in the mag, and there goes Cressy down to Slacks. Carrigan, can he clutch it? Patient with the shots, but no. Slacks will just about win that one. That was a nervous run. But he's focusing on... Uh... Oh, the timing! Well, Speedy wins it with the Famas, gets himself an upgrade as well. He'll see that there's no one else towards this B-bomb site, so now comes the push for FaZe. There's an enormous gap in that smoke, though. What's going on there? Gentlemen, the timings are just uh, ever so slightly off, and that is going to cost you. Twist, Cold, Zarin, Brokey, last three alive here for FaZe, pushing up onto the A site. Cold needs to hop up here and see if he can get that bomb planted, but he is going to get denied. Twist and Brokey versus four. Twist running out of bullets. He's only got two left. Quick reload as Brokey holds the angle, but angles no more. The taps onto Spiddy on long. Twist now in the clutch. 25 seconds to find two more players. He needs the ace. They're lining up for him. But Faven of A, effectively. Sprout could be in some trouble here. But will there be flashes for Cressy? That's a great way to begin things. He's going to pop flash himself out instead. Cold zero through the smoke in the meantime. Looking for the immediate transfer, Cold. Absolutely savage on long from FaZe Clan. Not over yet, though. Three versus two. Slacks, the sound cues will be heard by Carrigan. He's going to jump on a box or something. Either way, he's going to die. Dennis in the clutch. Cold Zero with angles on the smoke, and he will stop that from happening. Great play from Rout, although Slacks is on the way back with the AWP. That smoke thing makes things really awkward. He still peeks. That's such a bad peek from him if there's a T there. So bad. Yeah, Raid with a hard lurk right now. They haven't even found that, this guy again. Now Cressy is finally starting to take a peek out here towards Long. Realize he's willing to be that aggressive, so if you give him the opportunity, he'll take it. So it's an interesting thing. I mean, again, Sprout are... I this time it's a split off the B-bomb site. They've dragged three players towards a Spitty through the smoke. He's done enough to allow Dennis to make a play as well. Desperate plays from Sprout, and it's going to pay off. Brokey now one versus three. Trying to look for the frags, bouncing into the angle, but can't land in time. Rotation for them. They've got to land some shots here. Sprouts on the B bomb site. A swing and a miss from Farvin. Dennis out in the open, looking for the multi frag again. Spotted a bomb at the very least, but they still have Farvin to deal with. Dealt with. Bomb site taken. Sprout out of position. Only two remaining. They've got to try and fall back while that smoke is up. Just... But it looks like that's not going to happen. Gentlemen's agreement from both of these teams, and they are going to be holding on to their guns for the next round. Of course, they would like to pick up a map win here. Nobody wants to get eliminated 0-4. That's most unfortunate. 
Spitty, though, will be able to hold position and rescue the AWP. Farvin hopping up to Xbox. Hasn't been seen. He's got a lot of sound cues, but when does he choose to make his play? Because we've got Broken coming in from the back of the AWP, but the smoke makes it awkward. Running out of bullets as Flames, he can't go anywhere. Going back with the USP, and he'll do massive damage. I can't believe it. Farvin's still going. USP versus Cold, and finally... Oh my god, that is an overperformance. That's why he just holds the angle there in case of aggression from the CTs, but Carrigan will be lost anyway. In the meantime, there's a charge into the B-bomb site. Indeed, Dennis is up close with the MP9. One for one, he goes, and Brokey will try and give his team a chance. It's three versus two in favor of Sprout now. As uh, Brokey moves for a double stack plant, he's committing to it as Rain moves around. Can they defend this one? We've got to boost over the double sprout. They've all got the fuse kits though, but they have to get into this site and need to get there now. Brokey holding onto the doors. Down goes Spinny. The transfer is here and the trade frags. It goes the way of phase and it's Sprout. Avangar smokes are out and the push is on. Twist looks to his right and he's popped from the left. Slack's looking for another one. Sees multiple targets down. Goes rain so far so good for Sprout. They need this kind of round. What on earth is happening? There's two Famases and the Deagles. Utter deletion. That was us in his direction. Do sprout round this corner? There's only two players here for them. It's a big risk, but Slax is here. Focusing on short now. Short is a question mark for both teams. He's falling back with the AWP. Oh, mistakes have been made. Oh, oh that's. Neither team has been on short this entire round, so they may not know what to expect there. Spiddy is heading in that direction. Oh, for the tree position for the, for Goose to Molly. That is real nice from Speedy. Absolutely beautiful. They're lining up now. This retake is on. Brokey's got so much to do. He's missed his first shot. There's no AWP piece, but there are two orgs on the way. I think it's going to go anyway. It's Sprout. I can't believe it. Three players just waiting at the B bomb site and come in for the retake on phase. If you want a clinic on 